In this video, we're going to find the maximum and minimum values of parabolas given their functions in the standard form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So if we want to find the minimum or maximum value of a parabola, be aware that this is always going to occur at the vertex. Our parabola either concaves downward, in which case you have a maximum value, and this is because the leading coefficient was negative, or our function concaves upward, and this happens when your leading coefficient is positive, and your vertex is actually a minimum. Now to find the vertex, we're going to use the following formula. h equals negative b over 2a, and then k is going to equal f of h. We just do the evaluation there. So looking at the first one, we can see that the leading coefficient there is a 1, which is positive. That tells us that the graph is going to be concave up, and then our vertex is going to be a minimum value. So to find the vertex, we're going to first do h. h is going to be, by the formula, negative b over 2a, which we see that's going to be negative 4 over 2 times 1. So we end up with a negative 2. And then the k value, we look at f of negative 2, like so. That's going to give us a negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2. So we get 4 minus 8, which is equal to negative 4. And so clearing this stuff out right here, we then record our answer, something like the following. Uh, we could say that the minimum value is y equals negative 4 obtained at x equals negative 2. So the minimum value here is going to be negative 4. Now for the next one, uh, in that one we see that the a value is going to equal negative 2, which is negative. This tells you that the graph will be concave downward, which translates to meaning that we're going to have a maximum at the vertex. The vertex can be found as h is negative b over 2a. So we end up with a negative 4 over 2 times negative 2. This tells us that the vertex, the x-coordinate, is going to be uh, just a positive 1, negative 4 divided by 4 there. And so then k will be f of 1, which is equal to negative 2 plus 4 minus 5. Uh, notice 4 minus 5 is negative 1, minus 2 is going to be negative 3. And so that then finishes it up for us. Let's just record our answer. What we see here is that the maximum, the maximum value is going to be y equals negative 3 obtained at the value x equals 1.